Good evening and welcome to the Church by the Seas meditation. I was thinking tonight that tomorrow children across the country, or at least in the next few weeks, will begin school. And as they do, even for those that are excited, they probably are also filled with a little fear and trepidation little bit of anxiousness and perhaps their parents feel exactly the same. Well fear is of course a common emotion that we face especially when looking at a new situation or the unknown. And so what we are taught And what we teach is that God is with us, even in our fears. But at times, it is difficult to remember these things. And so I want to begin tonight with prayer. And this prayer comes from a child. Dear God, I bet it is very hard for you to love all of everybody in the whole world. There were only four people in our family, and I can never do it. <laughs> Signed, Nan. Well, Nan, it is hard. I agree. But I trust that God is there to love us, to be with us, in new and challenging ways and in our day-to-day -day routines. And so tonight, as all those little ones head off to school, or big ones head off to college, or even you who may be returning to college, I offer not only Nan's prayer, but these words from Isaiah. For I, the Lord your God, hold your right hand. It is I who say to you, do not fear, I will help you. So let's begin by taking some deep breaths. And letting go of our fear. and inviting God to enter in to our space, to our hearts, to our minds, filling us with light and the love that God has for maybe more than four people, for all of us. Breathe and relax and give yourself this space to be close to your creator as we listen to this piece.
tonight as I was thinking of all the little children going off to school and reading some letters that children have written to God. I thought about why God gives us the gift of laughter. Perhaps in part, God gives us the gift of laughter, not only to know joy, but to conquer fear. Because in faith, it is hard to have fear, but not impossible because faithful people get afraid. We hear that all throughout scripture. But when we are laughing just at that moment, maybe not just before or after, but at that moment, it is difficult to have fear. And so tonight, may I suggest a little laughter before we sit quiet. So here are a few letters that may bring you a chuckle. Dear God, thank you for the baby brother, but what I prayed for was a puppy. Dear God, maybe Cain and Abel would not kill each other so much if they had their own rooms. It works with my brother. Dear God, it is quite great the way you always get the stars in the right places. Dear God, did you mean for giraffes to look like that or was it an accident? Dear God, how come you didn't invent any new animals lately? We still have just the old ones. Dear God, how did you know you were God? Well, children are a delight. And the innocent way that they think about life is something to embrace. Jesus says to be like the little children. And for us tonight, let us let go of our adult worries and concerns. Let us breathe them out of our bodies and our minds and even our spirits, just for this time. Let them go. And breathe. and consider the gift of laughter. Think of something lately that you've laughed at. Something you saw or experienced with someone you know How did you feel? Just breathe and think, how did you feel? Did you feel lighter? Did you feel joy? Did you for that moment not worry or fear? Joy is a gift that God gives us. But we must be willing to be open to joy. To 
share laughter. To see blessings and feel grateful. When we experience that, joy comes. So breathe. And as you breathe, with your eyes closed, I want you to smile. To allow your mouth to gently lift up. and to feel that sensation through your body. How does that feel when you smile? Feel that smile throughout your whole body. Do you feel lighter? Gentler? Joyful? Joy is needed in our lives because it reminds us that God is there. This is a reading from the book Jesus Listen. God, help me to trust you and not be afraid. Sometimes I am frightened by world events and news reports, but I realize these reports are biased. They're presented as if you do not exist. Whenever my world is feeling like a scary place, I need to turn to you and find encouragement in your presence. I'm inspired by the examples throughout scripture. Your power, your glory, your unfailing love is always with me. I rejoice in knowing I am on an adventurous journey with you. As I keep my focus on you and joy, the relationships you offer, my fear gradually subsides. I will trust and not be afraid, for you are my strength and my song. To rejoice is to feel or show great joy or delight. Throughout scripture, we hear of those rejoicing in God. The joy of knowing that God is with us. Tonight and throughout your week, if fear enters in or stress overwhelms, Take a moment to breathe and smile and rejoice in knowing that God is always there, always with you, 
always loving you. Offering the strength, the courage, all that you need. Continue to breathe and consider the gift of laughter, the gift of joy. I hope you enjoyed tonight's meditation. As you go about your week, give yourself the opportunity to laugh, to feel joy. And in doing so, remember that God loves you and God is with you. Let us pray. It is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done, has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us, and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. Good night.